Oh, hey, thank y'all for stopping by. Stick around and I'm going to show you a tour of my house and all the rest of them that go with it. You know, there's, there's a lot of difference in teepee. That's a range teepee or a cowboy teepee. Reason we always had them on ranches and the reason we liked them so much, hey, they're easy to break down, roll them up, throw them on the hood wagon, throw them in the chuck wagon, throw them on a the trailer. They're nice. Now, this is not an Indian teepee. It's got all them poles coming out the top and got that canvas hide around it. This is a cowboy's house, just an old range teepee. True pyramid shape. It's just a nine by nine. No walls, no nothing, just straight up two before is on the post still it's the same premise that holds it all up and everything i've never seen one of these teepees blow down in a wind unless it was about 65 mile an hour and hey that's pretty close to hurricane force but get you a little piece of carpet here especially in the country it's got them stickers you can wipe them grass birds off right here before you go in the house because they ain't pleasant to step on when you get up in the morning if you have to relieve yourself so i think you'll see a big difference in the amount of room that a nine by nine has versus that 10 by 10. Still, there's plenty of room in here for two people. Put you all your stuff underneath your cot. Long ago, teepees were made with just a canvas floor or no floor at all. I've slept in some of them. These are a rubber floor in them. But I'll tell you, if you ever get water in one of them, they like a water bed. You can get up, get a drink, wash your feet, whatever you want to do. But most of the time, I ain't never had to get wet in one of them. This is a nine by nine with two foot wall. Uh, on the two foot walls, I just use square tubing. It's got a no little knob in there to go through that grommet. Holds it up. You don't have to put them all in there tight to your poles. Hey, you're in good shape. Here is a 10 by 10 and it's got two foot walls. They make such a great difference when you get in there. It gives you so much more room than just a teepee that just goes straight up. Now. This one's got some cedar poles, some stakes comes out. It takes a little more assembly and a little more time to get it up. But I guarantee you, if you're not moving camp every day, this is the way to go because you got a lot of room. Oh, welcome to my house. This is a cowboy condominium. In the summertime, it's got a heater. In the winter, it's got an air conditioner. The best thing in the world. But you can see what these two foot walls give you. Gives you so much more room. Mosquito netting, it just folds down. You want to make sure that you have some ventilation in these things because in the warmer months, you're going to need it. This one's got this in the front, a window in the back. Velcro's down on the outside. You're in good shape. Now you get that breeze plumb through here, out the back window. Ain't no skeeters in my house. Best thing ever. All the comforts of home. This is five star dining and 10 star sleeping at its best. This is a different brand than what I use. I, I use these nine by nines or 10 by tens with two foot walls, but I want to show you the difference in this one. This is actually a 10 by 10. Sure, it don't look near as big as some of them others, but you got to remember, it's outside dimensions on the bottom of the TP itself. On any TP that just goes straight up like this, you're, you're losing room as soon as you take off the floor and go up. Now, 10 by 10 at the top, ain't very, I mean at the bottom, ain't very much up here at the top, I promise you. This is a shorter TP, sure, probably withstand a whole lot more wind than one of them, but it's not got the room in TPs. I, I'll tell you this, if you're a single fella and you're going out there, say you're one of them day working cowboys, or you're just somebody that's going in somewhere to set up by yourself, Get you one of them nine by nines. You'll have plenty of room in there for one person. You won't be crowded none at all. But if there's two of you, or you think you got a buddy that you might want to tow along with you, or if you've convinced your wife that this is the best thing ever, get you one of them nine by nines with a two foot wall. You'll see a big difference because you can slide them cots over, get them walls on the outside edges. You got a lot of room in the middle for two people. But if this is something you're going to stay an extended period of time in, Hey, I'd go ahead and get me one of them 10 by 10s with two foot walls. You'll appreciate it. Now here's my tips when you go to buy one. I'm looking for a medium weight canvas. That way it's pretty easy for me to pack around. It's fire retardant and I know it's gonna last. But also I want you to look at the floor. A lot of them are canvas floors. Now you put an old cot or something in there that's got a metal foot on a canvas floor, 
If it gets any age to it at all, you're gonna rip that floor pretty quick. I like a rubber bottom in mine. They withstand moisture, they stand up better. They'll always last longer. Always ask, has this been treated? Is it weatherproof? Do I need to do something to it? Because a lot of times they'll tell you, hey, don't mess with it, it's good to go. There's all types of products out there that you can treat canvas with, but ask the man you buy it from, do I need to treat this? Because sometimes if you spray something on there it don't need, you're just causing damage. But I'll guarantee you any TP I ever had in this life leaked the first time, just a little, not bad. Canvas has to be rained on one time for it to set. That's an old thing that the old men always told me. It's got to come together. When it gets damp the first time and then seals back up in that sunshine, you're good. The thing you want to always look at too is how you get in this thing. A lot of them old TPs was just made where it was a tie. That's all it was. Had a rain flight, but it tied. There were spaces in it like that. You take a cold north wind to blowing, you'll get some air in your house. So I always look for one that's got that good nylon zipper in it especially if you're camping in any warm time of the year, but I need some ventilation. Got to remember, you want something that can blow, plumb through the house. So if you just windows, just tell them you want it on the back side of the door. That way you got your mosquito netting in the front, you're going to get that circulation. But I better, I better tell you, you'd be better off that you get two windows in one plus that door. It'll always help. Hey, I may get three foot in mine with the sunroof and the ceiling fan. You can't never tell. So let's talk about the poles on these teepees. Now for years I used just two befores. They're about 13 foot and six inches long. But they're hard to pack when I got so many, especially when we're having cooking school. So I'm going back to that black pipe. Hey, it's easy as it can be. Just take a bolt, run through the top, put your chain in there, it'll snap right in there. I've seen a lot of cowboys when they set theirs up, it's just wooden sucker rod off a windmill. So whatever you get by with, just make sure it's stout enough to hold it in a 50 mile an hour breeze. I've, I've slept in a lot of teepees. I've tried out different kinds. I've had all kinds of things cover me up at night, but the one that I trust the most and the one that I like and I use still today, that's Edward Canvas Company, Paul's Valley, Oklahoma. Old Clayton Edwards understands this because he's done a lot of cowboy in his life too and slept in some of them teepees. Home away from home. And I do think that it's probably time to go to bed. Oh my gosh, what is in here? It is a beagle and a little woman. Yeah.